What's up guys, Sebastian here. I'd like to start this video by saying I'm terrible at waking up in the mornings. So to speed up my whole morning routine thing, I bought a hairdryer. Now these things are incredibly useful, but it's kind of bulky and takes up quite a bit of space. So I started thinking of ways to get it up off the ground, but still in a convenient place. So let's go down to the shop and build a hairdryer holder. So here we are in the shop, and let's start prototyping some stuff. Let's start with the hairdryer. I need to find some way to mount this in the wall. Oh, what do you know? This two inch PVC coupler fits perfectly. Let's see how we're gonna stick it on our wall. So to mount it to the wall, I actually just ended up going with a two inch PVC elbow, which was a hell of a lot better than my first idea. <coughs> Tape. <coughs> Moving on, I figured out that I want to mount a piece of PVC to the elbow, which can then be cut to size and attached to a piece of wood, which in turn will be screwed into the wall. Here you can see me twisting the two pieces of PVC together, cleaning up the glue a little bit and letting it dry for a few minutes. Once dry, I cut it down, leaving just about half an inch of the PVC still on the elbow. Now for the piece of wood that everything mounts to. I didn't just want to screw a block of wood into the wall, so using Adobe Illustrator, I drew up a simple yet cool looking design. So then I cut a piece of plywood to the appropriate size, and then sprayed on some double stick adhesive and stuck it down. Now if you're doing a similar project at home and you want to be really boring, you could use a jigsaw slash bandsaw to cut out this whole design. But when your dad has a 100 watt laser, you don't want to be boring. Using Illustrator, I took the same design, exported it as a DXF, put it in the CNC machine, and let the laser go. I actually really like this final piece of wood, it has this super cool charred look to it, and I think it'll look good on a wall. Next up, just to make it a little bit less dull, I took the PVC and coated it in some glossy black paint. While that's drying, I went back to the piece of wood, marked and drilled two holes where the screws will go in later. Just to be extra fancy, I also countersunk both holes. Once the PVC was dry, you could see that it's incredibly shiny, but shiny doesn't always stick to things very well, so I took some sandpaper and roughed up the edge a little bit. Now that the two pieces are done, I just held them together and put the hairdryer in and got an angle that I was happy with. And then finally, it's time to glue our two pieces together. You can see here that I'm using some super watery super glue. I totally don't recommend this stuff. I wish I had some thicker glue at the time, but it's all I had and it totally worked. And then just because I added a bunch of glue on the back and then it's finally done. So let's head back to the bathroom to see where I'm putting it. I settled on anchoring it to the wall just to the right of the sink as this was the most convenient place. I used a small drill bit just to mark the two anchor points. Then, using a larger bit, I drilled holes all the way through the drywall, and then finally pushed in some anchors. Based on some past experiences, I made sure to vacuum up all of the drywall dust. As the final step, I screwed in my laser cut, overly complicated, over engineered, overly time consuming way of doing nothing but mounting a hairdryer to a wall for a little bit more convenience in the mornings. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you feel I've earned it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 